Yannick Sinner versus Novak Djokovic is the first semi-final for the Six Kings Slam for 2024. Both guys have had totally different years in the 2024 season. Novak Djokovic entered the tournament as number four in the world with a 37 match win and nine win loss record for the year. His best result, of course, winning that gold medal at the Olympics, beating Alcaraz in the final 7-6, 7-6. And that's also his best win against Alcaraz at that tournament, who was number three in the world at the time. His worst loss was against Nardi, a lucky loser at Indian Wells, who was 123 at the time. His form, though, has been pretty good despite losing the US Open early, did just make the final of the Shanghai, and of course did win that Olympic gold, so he has been playing really well lately compared to the first six months of the year. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one in the world, with a 56 win, six loss record for the year, which beats his best ever season on tour. His best win is the Australian Open final, you can also say the US Open final, but we're going to pick the Australian Open final, winning his first Grand Slam, beating Medvedev in that final in five sets. However, his best win in the rankings was actually the match before that against Djokovic, who was number one in the world at the time, in that Australian Open semi-final. His worst loss was against the number 12 in the world, City Pass, all the way back in Monte Carlo. So it just shows how great of a season he's having if your worst loss is against a guy who has been to Grand Slam finals and also has been in the top 10 for the most part of the last few years. And his form has been great, winning Shanghai last week and of course winning the US Open and Cincinnati before that. The only loss he's had recently was to Alcaraz in that Beijing final. These guys have played eight times before with the head to head split down the middle 4 4, including a match, of course, last week in Shanghai with Djokovic putting up a fight in the first set, but Sinner getting away in a straight sets win. And Sinner's won that last three matches, which not many players have been able to do over the Djokovic's career, but win three times in a row against him. So coming into this match, Sin is going to be the big favorite, of course. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get up to a better start than he did in Shanghai. He's going to have to win that first set. And the way that Sinner played against Medvedev yesterday, he's taking this serious. So I don't think this is just an exhibition where they're all having fun. Djokovic has to play serious and win that first set if he's going to be a chance of getting Sinner on this one. If Sin is going to win this one, just needs to play like he did yesterday against Medvedev. That was such an impressive performance. Six love in the first set. That is not what happens at normal exhibitions. So you can tell that Sinner came to play and he's going to have to play extremely well against Djokovic, who nearly did get that first set back in Shanghai last week. He's going to have to get off to a good start as well. Really interesting matchup. The way that Djokovic played in Shanghai was impressive for the first set, but I just can't pick him. With Sinner winning four of their last five matches, you've got to go with the guy in form, Yannick Sinner. I reckon he's going to win this one in three sets. I reckon Nole might win a set, but I think it's going to be all Sinner in the end making the final. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this match.